and grind and don't let nobody stop your shine. You gotta rise and grind and don't let nobody stop your shine. You gotta rise and grind and don't let nobody stop your shine. You gotta rise and grind and don't let nobody stop your shine. People don't know something, they'll speculate. If they think they know something, they'll fabricate. And if they know something, they'll just hate. But you gotta make it happen for you anyway. Make a move that makes a difference. Stop worrying about people, leave it to the senses. You gotta rise and grind and don't let nobody stop your shine. You gotta rise and grind and don't let nobody stop your shine. You gotta rise and grind and don't let nobody stop your shine. You gotta rise and grind and don't let nobody stop your shine. Welcome to the showcase. I'm your host, Q Sheree, and today we have with us V Major. Welcome. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> How has everything been going so far? Um, everything's been going productive. That's the word. Productive. I, it has because I've been I've been stalking her on Instagram, you guys. <laughs> and she's been doing so many things. I'm like, when did this girl sleep? Like it's crazy. But we're so glad to have you here. Um, and I want to get to know a little bit more about what you're doing. I know you just uh, dropped your new single, Risk It All. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. So basically, Risk It All is a song that I decided to release, um, you know, basically relating to, like, our generation and, you know, the reasons why it's kind of difficult for individuals, certain individuals, to find their future spouse because they don't really get to take the time to very like difficult actually like they don't take the time to actually get to know their spouse and so it's basically to promote safe sex um i i created the song um with with today's generation like the taste of today's generation you know like their taste in music and um so, like, what I try to do when I write songs is write songs that are relatable, that people, that I see other people in life go through, but still make it in a way where it sounds, like, up to beat. Like, you know, like, yeah. mumble rap, in a way. Yeah. Because, let's that's, face it, like, today's reality. generation, like, their attention span is very short, so. Absolutely. And if you, if you not on their wavelength within the first 15 seconds of the beat, it doesn't even matter what you're saying. Right. It does not even matter. But still being able to, like, send a message, you know? And absolutely. Um, is there going to be a campaign behind this song? Or um, yes. I don't want to spoil it. But yes. <laughs> I do have a lot of um, things that I am planning to push. So, yeah. Well, she won't tell us any of the little secrets yet, you guys. But definitely keep tuned to be major we definitely want to see what she has coming up next and you're a songwriter but you are also many other things tell us about some of the other things that you do so not only am i a songwriter i am a radio host for the selected few we air each and every tuesday from 12 to 3 so stay in tune for that stay in tune for the interviews um what else do i do i'm also an admin you know, you got to have your side hustle. I'm um, also um, an admin at Platinum Sound Studio, um, where all the stars and all the celebrities go. So, you know. What's your favorite part about your day job? Um, honestly, getting to see, like, the, hobby, like, the hobbies of certain, um, I, I wouldn't say it's hobbies, but, like, more of their behaviors. Like, when I see a celebrity come in and I, I see how they move and how they act and, you know, I don't really get to see the, like, get to be in the recording studio with them, but I still get to witness, like, celebrities come in and as I collect payment, do all that extra <laughs> stuff. No, actually, my favorite part At the door, my, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> At the Make door. sure you have your money. Them coins better be there. Um, Actually, my favorite part is the listening sessions because you get to network with a lot of industry people. Mm. A lot of PRs, ARs, like you know, for like major label records and 
you get to it, you get to see it front hand. You understand? So that's pretty. It's a pretty laid back job. Who's probably the the well? We don't want to say the easiest person to deal with, but who do you think, in your opinion, from working there, um, has been the most helpful? as far as what you want to do in your career that you've met? I wasn't prepared for this, y'all. <laughs> um, can you rephrase that? I'm so sorry. Sure. So basically, there's going to be a lot of celebrities that come in. And what people have to realize is everyone is human, you guys. So they're still just people, and they still aspire and have dreams just the same way we do. They might be a little bit different because they got a lot more coin than we do, uh, but the the reality is they're people too. So who would you say that's just walked in the door and just blew you away that you maybe even thought when you saw them on television or you saw them in a video, you were kind of like, oh, I don't know about this person, but then when you got to meet them in real life, you were like, they are the dopest person I've ever met. Honestly, I would say Free from 106 and Park. Um, mm -hmm. She's really humble. She's really down to earth. And from the time I met her, like, actually, when I met Free, like, I was like, huh? Like, she was like, oh, my God, yes, girl, with the natural hair. And I was just like, <laughs> I turned around, like, you're talking to me. Take Poor natural. little old me. <laughs> like, little old me. She was like, yes, Mullen and Magic. And she just started coming and just started dropping gems. Like, listen. Just because you're a female doesn't mean you have to give up the goodies, you know. That's right. Like, work hard. You got to work twice as hard. Like, she was just giving me, yeah. like, advice on, like, how to go about this music thing. And, I, like, that meant a lot to me, you know. Like, to me. Like, little old me. I'm just like, me. Mm, <laughs> little old me. Yeah. Um, she's, she's a sweetheart. Free. Well, I do love Free, and I do I do miss her and AJ on 106 and Park. You know what I'm saying? Bring back the love. They need to do something together again. That would be a really cool mix to see. So with, with that being said, what do you see your journey being in the next year or so as far as album releases? Are you going to, um, I know you won't tell us, about <laughs> no, the I'll, campaign I'll that's coming I'll up. I'll share, I'll share. So I do plan on, um, well, I did want to release an album, but now I want to take my time and just release singles because, like, I feel like when you actually do drop an album, like, you have to put your time and effort. And I don't want to just, because I see so many artists, like, underground artists, they just, like, create projects and then they just put it there and then it's just there to collect dust. So, like, I feel like if I'm putting out my first album, my first ever album, like, it has to be, like, to the T. Like, it has to blow minds away. Like, so that's going to take time. So for now, I'm just plan on, you know, just releasing covers and singles in the meantime and just networking as I've been doing. And that's another thing that I noticed, and I'm not sure if everyone knows this about you, but you sing and you rap? Yeah. That's very, what, what do you, what do you think made you decide to do both as opposed to just picking an area and running with it? So singing, I started all my life for as much as I can remember my mom in fact, told me, like, I used to, like, she'll put on Sesame Street and, like, I'll sing in front of the street. And so she knew that, like, I was going to be a singer. Although my parents don't really support that. Um, but, yeah, like, so I, I, I been knew singing was a thing for me. I just discovered rapping was a thing for me when hmm. I, to, thanks to my ex-boyfriend, <laughs> oh, well, shout out he, to all the ex-boyfriends. <laughs> yeah, Rose Eyes. Um, <laughs> because he was rapping, too. Mm -hmm. And so um, he was like, right, like, he was just playing beats. And I was like, all right. So he's like, write something. Just play around, write something. And so I was just, we just had, like, a writing session. And I was writing, and then I made, like, he told me to recite it. And so I recited the words. And then he was like, wow, like, you should really start rapping. And so you just became my hobby. I was like, wow. And that birthed the nation, okay? Now, one thing that I want to say to everybody, if there's anything that you ever want to do, just do it. Um, this is a perfect example of how 
you don't always know what all of your talents are until you just tap into them a little bit and then you really get to see like whoa i'm i'm i can do all this by myself yes so um and i just really am so excited because like i said i've heard your single risk it out all and you're going to be performing that today on the show That's so amazing. i'm so happy but what does that mean to you um risk it all to me means knowing getting to actually <laughs> risk it all to me means taking risk but knowing what risk in life is wise enough to take so don't take so, all of them honey yeah so that's <laughs> thank you well we are so glad to have you everyone stay tuned she's going to be performing her single in just a moment well thank you so much i can see the hairs on my arm standing up it was beautiful thank you for coming in and unfortunately we ran out of time but thank you so much b major for coming um and also we just want to know real quick where can they find you on social media so you can find me on all social media platforms v major music so v m a j o r m u s i c v major music facebook twitter soundcloud youtube yeah pretty much all right, well, you heard her. It's V major, and that's all the time that we have. But until next time, let's talk about it. I risk it all for you, risk it all for you. Oh. <laughs>
happy birthday to be major i love you sis do big things and may god bless you happy birthday v i couldn't say it any better keep that same energy you're a ball of fire and i know the time is coming let's do it mm -hmm. Happy birthday, V. I'm the one who got you to Ciroc. I'm the one who looked out for you. No, <laughs> but I know you're going to make it big in life. Um, the first time I met you, I knew you was a go-getter, a hustler. It's an interview. Let's go. Let's go. Whatever. You know, I got to show her out. I love you. You're going to make it. Bye. Happy birthday. Definitely wish you a blessed 2018 and beyond. I see that you're doing things, and I really hope that, you know what I'm saying, you keep the ball rolling, keep hustling, keep grinding. You already know, Royale, I support you, I'm here, most definitely. Bless up. Happy birthday, V. Uh, so was those, my first time meeting you, really good impressions. I hope the song blows up. Hope you have a good 2018 and a great future. You got great things ahead of you. Well, well, I'm glad I'm here celebrating a homegirl's birthday. Happy birthday. We love you from the bottom of my heart. God bless you, all right, honey? Keep doing what you're doing. I know you have goals. Just make it. Make it happen. All right? God bless you. Yo, yo, yo. Platinum sound in the building. Wonder music was good. I'm repping for the family. You know what I'm saying? Jerry not here, but he's always here. He's with me all the time. Yo, Vanessa, love you. Happy birthday. Wishing you a biggest 27 ever. This is the first and not the last of your birthdays. And keep making them hits, baby. Hey, young Flyboy on the check. What type of project? Is it going to be sci fi or is it going to be comedy or? Um, more like, more like, um, um, party. It was more like party and, um, relationships and stuff like that. So do you see yourself doing roles that are more inspired by who you are or do you see yourself doing roles that are completely different from you? More by um, who I am. All right, and who are you? <laughs> um, good question. <laughs> the ladies well, wanna um, know. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm a, well, I'm just a regular nigga pretty much. I just like to, I like to go out and party, drink, have a good time, work out a little bit, and um, that's pretty, that's pretty much in travel and stuff like that. I'm pretty much a regular nigga, down to earth and all that. You, know? you sound so. like Cardi B. I'm just a regular <laughs> smeglo girl. That's right. Uh, where are you from? I'm from the Bronx. Oh, you are. At the Bronx, and I also, I also stay in Harlem, time to time. You know, so. I read both both areas, you know. Mm, he dibbles and dabbles in both ladies. So <laughs> if you're looking for somebody, you can find them in the Bronx or in Harlem. Mm -hmm. Now, interestingly enough, you act, but what, what got you into acting? Well, um, I've always been somewhat of an entertainer. When I was um, in class, when I was in class growing up in middle school, high school, elementary school, always somewhat was the funny nigga or whatever, or class clown, whatever you want to call it, always been that. So I always like to be, I always like to um, show off in public, I always like to make myself known, have the attention on me, so I figured acting would be, would be um, one of the ways I can do that and have the spotlight on me. Well, that's definitely true. You were the class clown, though? Here, here and there, here and there. I, 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 would, I would just say just a funny nigga. That's what I would really, that's what I would really want to so say. So you, the laughs was just for the ladies then. <laughs> you didn't really care who else was laughing. You was just trying to get their attention. I guess if you, if you put it that way, yeah, that's pretty much where it is. You gotta, you gotta get their attention one way or another, right? You was, oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna say who, but there's a particular artist out there and, um, he also had the, the ch you know, he also had the opportunity to rap and sing, and one of the reasons why he chose singing was the girls. Of course, he does both now, and I'm sure if anybody's familiar with Freaky Friday, they know who I'm talking about. Um, but that's good. So that means that you love the ladies. Are you single? Yes, I am. 
Is that uh, I'm single some days or I'm single every day? <laughs> I'm I'm single. I'm single on depend on who it is. Like I like every, pretty mm, much every day. Who it is? Pretty much every day. You know. So it's uh, I live life carefree. Anything is anything goes. So you know. It all depends on the moment, any given night, any given day, any given time. Mm. It all depends. Any given night, any given day, any given time. Well, mm -hmm. that is something else. Mm -hmm. mm. I, I, I see how you work in it. Okay, mm -hmm. well, there's nothing wrong with that. Do you ever find that the way that you live inspires new characters that you might want to play later? Not me. I I take things. I live life one day at a time. That's and good. And like you know, I don't think too far deep into the future unless it's financial. Hello. Yeah. The coin is very yeah, important. Yeah, exactly. So you have to think down the line when it comes to finance. But as far as everyday life, I don't think too it down the line. I'll take it one day at a time because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You That's know. True. So the only thing you can do, or you can you you can plan, but that don't mean that plan is going to happen. So, mm. so you just you just gotta take it one day at a time, and and improvise if you need to. But it's, it's always good to have a plan in place, but just improvise whenever you feel you need to. That's it. So, have you ever thought about doing that later on in your career, doing more like the improv stage kind of acting, or is that something that you just are like, no, I'm good. I think I like film better. Stay. Um, I done. I done stage acting and um, in my.